Hey Virgo, what's going on? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is your general tarot reading for June 2022. We're going to see what's going on, what's coming in, in love. Virgo, um, this could be your energy if this is your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. You also could be dealing with a Virgo. Take it resonates, leave the rest. If you want a more personalized um, reading for yourself, all the details are in the description box. I do them video recorded, just like this, what I do on YouTube. I also offer it by Etsy message. Two to four day turnaround. I also have my decks on Etsy, okay? My uh, tarot oracle decks, if you're interested in that. They are on sale this week. And your bonus extended is up on Vimeo. How does your person feel for June? So let's take a look. Clear, concise, accurate messages for my Virgos. Messages for Virgos, please. All right, the challenge for you guys, Virgo, is the Ten of Pentacles. I like it. So, you know, your focus could be on money matters, right? Your resources, your time, your energy. Um, you may be looking for something stable, maybe in a relationship, partnership, you're looking for something long term. And that could be the challenge, right? You may be dating with purpose. Maybe Virgo, you're finding yourself single, but you want to make sure you're attracting people who want the same thing as you do, people who have the same values as you do. If you're dealing with someone, Virgo, maybe there's a challenge to getting to that Ten of Pentacles, right? Long term stability, taking the next step, right? Solidifying this connection marriage right all right so let's take a look in the recent past we have a little bit of a stuck energy here so you may be experiencing um in the recent past some kind of stagnant energy with regard to your love life it feels like maybe there was a breakup or some kind of separation the three cups came up in the verse where maybe you and this person weren't doing so well um there hasn't always been maybe happy times maybe there's been some kind of um ending breakup right i'm getting more temporary it could just feel like there's just been emotional distance between you and your person virgo this could be a virgo like you it could be a pisces cancer scorpio um it looks like there was a break because of the hermit someone may have needed time space to recover this is like de de attaching right and removing oneself from a situation to do some deep thinking i feel like someone may have felt like well, since this isn't moving, let me figure out things, right? Let me <laughs> let me take a step back and maybe you figure out what you want. So if someone put you on hold, Virgo, you may be realizing that, you know what? Maybe there's a reason why things aren't moving, right? The hermit, you're going within, you're getting some kind of insight. The current energy is the Page of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Page of Swords in reverse. I feel there is an energy where Virgo... Maybe you are trying to forgive someone because there has been an ending of some sort that's left you feeling really hurt, devastated, betrayed. Maybe someone um, blindsided you. There is some sort of ending. I feel like you and this person may have had an argument, a fight. Could have been something very petty with the Page of Swords, right? Very immature. I feel that someone may have cut off communication with you or could have said some things that really didn't sit too well with you. And so it can be really difficult in showing your love to this person and expressing your heart. And, and, you know, I'm seeing the energy of there could be a need for forgiveness. Now, some of you, I feel like they, they want to apologize, but they're having a difficult time in opening up the lines of communication. They may be watching you from afar. I'm getting like your social media, checking you out, but not really saying much. Okay. They may not be talking much after an ending. We have a lot of difficult energy. The Ten of Swords came out again. This is definitely, a, you know, this deck has Ten of Swords and everything is fine. So I feel like, you know, for your energy in particular, Virgo, you've gone through a lot of hurt. And um, I feel like it's left you in this place of great conflict. The Swords is conflict and stress and you've been frustrated. And so I do feel like there is the energy of needing some space. You know, the Four of Swords is healing, recovery, but trying to find peace of mind, you know? It's like you really needing time out from something or someone because of what you've gone through. So give me the energy of what's in the foundation, Virgo, Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Moon. 
I do see um, some sort of communication coming in. Someone really has something to say. They've been holding on to it. There's a lot that has been left unspoken. Someone wants to clear the air with you, Virgo. And I'm seeing the energy of Three of Pentacles. Wanting to collaborate, wanting to meet each other halfway, teamwork. This is about partnership. Can we get along? Let's try to make things work. Let's try to get on the same page. Because I think Virgo, this is someone that feels unloved. Maybe, again, this is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. They could be feeling unloved, unsure of how you feel about them, feeling uh, emotionally <laughs> detached from you right now. Maybe because, you know, you've detached from them. The moon is in reverse for how this person sees coming towards you. So there could be something big that is being revealed. There could be something your person is telling you after keeping it a secret. It could be also something regarding this person letting go of fears, insecurities that may have made them doubt this connection, may have created blockages in this connection between you and them. So whatever it is, I do think that some kind of clarity, truth, is coming out it could be communication ace of swords with this person to you as far as the outcome we have the four of pentacles the ten of cups and the six of pentacles you're gonna have to really decide virgo if this is something worth holding on to because i do see the energy where you and your person could be extremely guarded but at the same time you know you want some kind of opportunity here but you're gonna have to ask yourself is this worth giving to is this worth making a contribution to because the six of pentacles maybe it feels unbalanced maybe it feels unfair maybe you've been given enough in the past and you haven't gotten what you put in and so you're having to really determine virgo if someone has the ability to make you happy because if not then what's the sense of holding on to the connection investing your time energy resources okay so let's jump right in let's get some more messages for you guys if this is your reading like share comment subscribe Clear messages for Virgo. Your extended bonus reading is up on Vimeo. How does your person feel? Four of Swords. So yeah, I do feel like the challenge is taking a moment and using this like break, this separation, this downtime to your benefit. Because, you know, the biggest challenge is getting to that Ten of Pentacles, right? And everyone isn't going to present that Ten of Pentacles. You cannot have the Ten of Pentacles at everyone, right? There are, comp there are compatibility issues, right? There's different expectations, values. And so what you're having to really do right now, Virgo, if you have this downtime, because I think this is your energy, the Four of Swords, and again, the Hermit, right? So use this downtime to your good. Use this downtime and really connect with yourself, your higher self, with the divine and get some guidance, um, clarity on how to move forward with this partnership. If, it, if it's worthwhile, right? In a recent past, we have the hangman and the ten of swords and the ten of pentacles in verse. It does look like something ended because someone here just wasn't thinking the same way that you were thinking, Virgo. They didn't go into this thinking about, okay, family, home, commitment stability marriage it's almost like this person didn't think about it because the three cups they could have just went into it having fun or wanting to just have a good time the hierophant and the king of swords in verse yeah this person did not want to talk about anything related to commitment this could be a taurus gemini libra Aquarius. the king of swords in verse i almost feel like this person avoided such conversations any type of conversation talking about marriage i feel like they they cringed okay this is someone that may have wanted to avoid any type of communication regarding commitment because well they didn't want it they they had some issues regarding that they were unsure they were hesitant they were in this hangman which is telling you that maybe they didn't see things from your perspective and so i feel the hermit could be you using time to really connect with yourself and figure out what you want so the energy of the page of cups Ace of Cups and the King of Pentacles in reverse. So now there's the energy where, Virgo, you may give up on something. Maybe you are realizing that something doesn't have, doesn't doesn't offer the stability that you want, right? The King of Pentacles in reverse is where you're not getting your needs met with regard to that situation or person. You realize that that situation has created some kind of, you know, uh, instability in your life, whatever it may, it may play out in your home life. It may play out with regard to your money, and there is an idea that, you know, there could be new love on the horizon for you guys after really 
really ending, a really difficult ending, the Ten of Swords. Ace of Cups could be something coming out of the blue. It could be a new beginning. It could be a revival of an old love. It could be a new person coming in completely. It could be from a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone is willing to put in the work. We have someone who is, I'm getting a change of mindset, a change of way of thought, change of behavior. Eight of Pentacles, they're willing to put in the time, energy, effort into rebuilding something or just building the connection they have with you. You are connecting with someone who's very serious and they are seriously in love with you. They have a lot of unconditional love and they're willing to show you by action, right? by um being there for you being that supportive person so you definitely have new love coming from maybe a again someone who has the ability to really love you four of swords what are you stressed out about <laughs> knight of cups you're stressed out about this love offer coming in um we also have the queen of swords in reverse what's going to help you with this um especially if you dealt with someone here that really caused a lot of hurt is take your break take your time out and that's what the four of swords about Take a time out and, you know, use it for your own good. Like I was saying, maybe you guys are having to spend time and heal. The Four of Swords could be a healing energy. But there's also something about when this Knight of Cups come in, when, when this person comes in, whoever this is, whoever is offering you love with this Page of Cups, uh, Knight of Cups energy, um, it's saying you're going to have to question them. Maybe there's some things you're having to ask. And by asking, it can help you move away from some kind of inner conflict, overthinking stress okay regarding your past or just regarding your love in general um the queen of swords in verse is telling me there could be something you're having to ask question maybe there's something left unspoken you're having to get more information about all right ace of swords is communication coming through and we have the ten of cups in verse and the two of pentacles in verse there could be communication coming through about someone's options or other opportunities maybe they were juggling going back and forth regarding you and someone else um, again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Chris. Someone has something to say, and I feel like they're realizing that they're not happy anymore. That's what the Ten of Cups is about. They're not happy. They're unfulfilled. They're maybe not emotionally connected to someone. Maybe they chose someone else over you, and they realize that connection is not the same like the one they had with you. And I feel like they may be even questioning some of the decisions they've made. Three of Pentacles, it feels to me like you and this person have actually a lot more in common. Whoever you're connecting with, there's a lot in common here. But I think this person just put up a fight. Five of Swords. They, they just put up a fight. <laughs> Some of you guys, you may have felt you guys had so much in common that it was almost like you were so alike that you guys felt over everything. Five of Swords. It was, you know, how, you know, like, like attracts like, but then, <laughs> you know, there could be issues regarding, um, I'm getting like power struggles, especially if you and this person were so alike on so many different things. It could have like worked against you guys in some way but what i'm seeing is that some definitely someone here is feeling unloved they are realizing that they miss your love and you're not offering them love anymore yeah the, the nine of wands and they're wanting to persevere they're wanting to come to you with the nine of wands which is not letting this go we have the nine of wands as perseverance a wounded warrior saying i'm willing to still fight for this i'm willing to take on this challenge yeah i have these bruises and scratches and you know <laughs> I'm tired and, and, you know, exhausted, but I'm willing to still fight for this. Give me the moon in a verse that can be something oops, revealed to you. And it can be related to this person's um, inner demons, insecurities, right? There could be something that's coming out. Ooh, tower. Tower in the seven of pentacles. It looks like to me like this person may have gone through a tower moment. And this tower moment may have functioned to clear away something out of their life that should not have been there to begin with. I feel like whatever this tower moment is, your person could be realizing something really important um, about you, your worth, okay? Seven of Pentacles, they see you as someone who is worthwhile. You are worth the investment. They see growth and opportunity with you. They see change. They see you as someone that they could, you know, maybe they could have done better, but they want to do better, right? They want to invest for some kind of longstanding situation, opportunity in their future, so let's see what the energy is saying. Um, in the outcome, there is an energy of holding on, but also being very guarded because someone has maybe left you in a very unhappy place in your life, Virgo, whether it's this person or someone else. 
and the devil. You may be going through fears. It could be uh, the devil as a, you know, trauma that you haven't processed just yet that's affecting you. This could be insecurity. This could be overthinking, self-limiting thoughts, beliefs about yourself. That could be um, affecting your ability to be happy. So it may not be necessarily this person that's coming to you that's bringing in happiness to you. It could be your negativity or just that toxic way of thinking that you're having to let go. This could be a Capricorn. I also feel the 10 of wands and we have the queen of wands in verse. There could be a situation that your person is letting go or moving away from um, with maybe another person, a queen of wands, Leo Sag Aries, and it looks like they're willing to no longer invest in it. And that could be why they're wanting to come to you with a, a love offer. Um, there could be a situation where someone's finally making a choice because we did have the two pentacles in verse. So maybe they've been going back and forth with you and another person and they're finally making a decision. And it could be Closing out a cycle, Ten of Wands with the Queen of Wands. I'm seeing someone turn their back on a third party, perhaps. It could be a mother figure, it could be an aunt, it could be anybody. But someone is pulling away from another situation that has left them very burdensome or left them with responsibilities and they're wanting to let it go. They're wanting to move past it. And I think that is why your person hasn't been able to fully invest in you the way they want it to and they still want to hold on to this Four of Pentacles. Last card, the wheel. So the wheel is really good to end your reading today, Virgo. It's really about moving things forward, progression. I think that there is a lot of protection in this connection. For some of you guys, I feel like Virgo, spirit wants you to be happy. And I feel like there could be a lot of signs, synchronicities, things that are happening that are leading you down the right path that you should be on. So don't second guess yourself. Lose that mindset of, I'm, <laughs> I'm not capable, I'm not good enough, whatever it is, you know, Continue to work on yourself, heal, recover. We have some really challenging, difficult energies here that you've gone through, but you don't have to stay in that energy, right? You don't have to stay in that four of swords and the ten of swords. There is movement, change, will, fortune, and it's moving in your favor. So my Virgo, that is what I have. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll check you guys out soon. Your bonus extended, how does your person feel? It's up on Vimeo.